In contrast to the opinions voiced in previous videos, US intelligence has its own analysis and timeline for a Ukrainian counterattack. US intelligence believes that the Ukrainian military has an opportunity to advance in the south and east of the country within the next six weeks. US intelligence believes a massive defeat of Russian forces that would allow Ukraine to seize another huge swath of territory, as in the Kharkiv region, is unlikely. But they estimate that individual Russian units could break in the face of a sustained onslaught by the Afu, allowing Ukraine to liberate towns in the Donbass and possibly to occupy the city of Kherson. That is, intelligence forecasts are moderately positive, it is always better to count on more while voicing lesser goals. The Ukrainian offensive may soon force Russian forces in Kherson to retreat behind the Dnieper River, returning most of the city to Ukrainian control. Also, some sources said that the Afu appears ready to move forward and break the stalemate in Luhansk, where it may have the opportunity to surround or break Russian defenses to the east. US and Ukrainian officials are wary of making accurate predictions, but note that fighting is likely to continue for several more months but by the end of this year. According to British intelligence, the Russian command has probably decided to leave the captured territories of the Kherson region on the west bank of the Dnieper, which confirms my thoughts voiced in previous issues. According to the Afu general staff, the occupiers move about 2,000 units of mobilized cannon fodder to the line of contact in the Kherson region to make up for their losses. These are the recruits who in their lives may not have even held a weapon in their hands. Most of these forced invaders will be eliminated or captured by Afu soldiers. That said, Russia, according to US officials and military analysts, has not yet lost the war. Officials urged never to underestimate the enemy, as Russian dictator Vladimir Putin appears ready to continue the war. Losses among his own population and even more so among Ukrainians do not interest him, like any dictator. He needs victory at any cost, especially now that interesting processes are starting behind his back. Washington knows everything that is going on in the Kremlin, behind Putin's back they are actually starting to share power. Those who know that Putin is not eternal are beginning to think about their own future. Data is coming in from these people as well, which could not have happened two to three years ago. We get pretty good data, so what sometimes gets into the press is trivial compared to what we know. But even what gets in the media comes from reliable sources that we know about, said David DiBatto, a US military intelligence special agent.